the fifth string second fret middle and second finger tip onto the fourth string second fret this is E minor you can strum it there it'll be a sad sound you can hear that sound the sad E minor and if you watch the screen for a minute you will see the second finger dropping down to the one string so that it's on the third string second fret and if you strum this chord if this string is muted that's okay if that's muted that's okay but we need all the others working now so so if you can cover these strings for a second so that there's no sound um, I'm going to do a strum pattern that goes like this um, just turn the camera just bear with me it's going to sound like this down 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 up down up now I'm going to keep doing it and I want you to try and join in with me down 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 up down up down 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 up down once more Okay, now, so if you watch me for a second, I'm taking the first chord and I'm going to do the pattern once. I'm going to go down, 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 up, down, up, and I'm going to stop at that point. Now, we'll try that together once and we have to stop at that point. So, after four, we have E minor, we have, yeah, after four then. Two, three, four. Stop. And when you stop, keep your hand up so that it's ready to start the next chord. Don't let it fall. That's what beginners do. But we're not going to do that. We'll try that once more. We're still in E minor. Okay, after four. Two, three, four. Stop keeping the hand up. Now, do you see the chord change happening? The second finger dropping down one. When it's in position, we're going to do the same pattern and stop. Down. Keep the hand up, and we're going to bring the finger back up, and we're going to do the same pattern and stop again. Down, down, down. Keep the pick hand up, finger down, and again, down. Okay, now if you want to take your fingers off the guitar just to save them, there's a good bit to go here yet. And if you watch me now playing this song, if you watch me now playing this song, so the only difference here is I'm able to do this without stopping. Whereas you had to stop for a second, then do it, and stop, and then do it. So now I'm going to give you um, a, a 20 seconds on your own trying to practice that. And then we're going to try and put the whole lot together. Uh, and we're going to try and play together. So just do your best there to try and get the, the two chords. And we'll stay muted for a minute. That's great. If, if, I, if I'm not talking to you, it means you're doing it right. Okay, that's great. Now, we'll try this together. We'll try this together. Can we set up the E minor chord? And it, I think when we're trying it together, if we do four down strokes only, just for a few runs, so we're going to do something like this. <laughs> four down strokes and four down strokes. We have a great shot at getting this together if we do that and we can work in the up strokes after. So are we ready to start then? After E minor and after four. Two, three, four. Change. Change back up. Change. Back up. That's really good. Now, um, I'm going to give you a minute on your own to practice doing this with, with the upstrokes as well, so that, you, so that you have either down, up, down, up, 
in either this or so, so one or the other. So about 20 seconds on your own and then we're going to bring it all together. <laughs> 